Yep. This. Same as every other day. Technically, we can build cities above the gas clouds of Venus. That will come in handy because this sorry ass planet is headed into that direction anyways. We are all slow burn arsonists. God, I am such a grouch. that it's a normal day and you're ready to listen to her complain about life and be like super relatable and whatnot and she definitely really is um i like how you just kind of subtly realize that her life's different than like how normal people are living their lives just based on her turning on the radio and going about her day and continuing the routine but we're, we're hearing what the radio is saying um i loved the shot where she puts her arm through the jacket and like we're kind of like eat like in the arm i thought that was really really cool visually i i honestly never really see shots like that done so i thought that was really cool um also i think the choice of using her was really great i think her eyes really stand out with the mask it's very she's these piercing blue eyes and i think she did a really great job but um you can tell you know she's just she's there for survival especially based on the radio um what's going on you know in the world and what on and as soon as she walks out with her gun she's already facing whatever you know force is being thrown at her and she's handling it like a g excellent as far as like maximizing the location you know um as a part of an apartment or whatever you really built out a world made it feel real made it feel expanded um i thought the idea was cool as far as just like zombie apocalypse but make it small scale uh just one person i thought it was effective i thought the sound design was great i think especially if you're gonna go small scale like that you gotta make up for it with sound design and i think you did I like the feel of this because it feels like it's trying to change up the zombie narrative just a little bit by saying stay in direct sunlight or don't go outside because it kind of makes it feel like the zombies can't kind of have a little bit of a vampire thing to them too where they can't go into direct sunlight. That's like where the girl feels like she needs her coffee that bad that she's willing to risk her life. But this film at the end does have kind of that feel that we do get in our routines. And when you're in something like a lockdown situation, it would definitely be more and more. It also gives an idea to people who would watch this that might be preppers to why you'd have a whole bunch of coffee or, or food or whatnot if for cases of an emergencies. I mean, the CDC does have a zombie preparation kit up online on how to follow and survive a zombie apocalypse and... This kind of puts it that it would be on that site for a reason, giving into the conspiracy a little bit. This film is definitely one that keeps your attention because at first it feels so routine and you're not sure if it was made for COVID or whatnot until the very end where you see the armor coming on and then her literally confronting a zombie. And then the credits going with that kind of comic book feel. Surprising and great. I love where it ended up. Um, and uh, then how we got there and uh, even rolling into the credits, how the credits pick up uh, exactly where the live action uh, ends. I thought that was really smart. Uh, just love that stylized uh, treatment. And uh, yeah, it just made the whole picture uh, just such a strong piece. I really enjoyed it. I thought the way that you went about showcasing this was quite unique. And, it, and I never would have expected the ending to be what it was. The story was engaging, it was creative, and it provided great detail of what anybody in this day and age can do in case of a zombie apocalypse. So well done. I love the writing. The lead character is a strong figure, doing important jobs, such as the daily grind of zombie killing. Lots of humor in this one, too especially the animated segment at the end. Excellent graphics. The camera work is wonderful. Lots of cool close-ups as she gets ready for her day. Cool performance by the lead. I love the vocals at the end too. 